Clarence. The year we had noon dances, 7th grade, Barando Junior High. My favorite was watching the basketball team, the Centurions. Long, tall, black guys with droopy sweatpants and no t-shirts. Swaying hips to the righteous sounds of the reverend when he was just a sexual thing called Al Green. Even before I heard about the Mexican rhythm. Mexican rhythm was a non-stop tango of salsas, rancheras, and cumbias. You could stop in the middle of the dance and not lose the beat. Cause the beat was in the heart. Mexican beat was born on street corners in downtown L.A. A rhythm hiding in alleys behind Lucy's All Night Tacos and the Habana Bakery. Mexican rhythm was copycat soul train with a switchblade. Mexican rhythm was K-Day before White Hat Soul. Mexican rhythm was running down Broadway and ducking into Woolworths with the ghetto blaster that was too small to show attitude or be stolen. Mexican rhythm was hot nights and gang fights. Mexican rhythm was our drunken fathers talking the strange language. I always got jumped in the lunch line before I could buy my grilled cheese sandwich. But the dime, the dime I kept in my shoe, the dime I saved for Clarence. Ten cents got me into the gym before Diana Ross's part of my mistake. Clarence was always on the dance floor because he was dating Yolanda Skipper. And Yolanda Skipper was Miss Rhythm herself. Mm-hmm. If Clarence would have made it a ninth grade yearbook, he would have had titles like most likely to get stronger or most likely to beat you up in the hallway. A badass motherfucker who worked out by lifting us from the belt loops for a round of tan. But it wasn't the muscles that won me over. It was the hair. Because you see, if you had an afro as big as Clarence's, that means you stood up to your mom and whooped your daddy's ass when he grabbed you by the ear and tried to drag you down to the barber. I, of course, was almost bald. But when he grabbed me and pushed me away with the chomp move out of the way, you hogging up all of the dance floor, a kind of electricity raced through me because one strong shove fueled a hundred fantasies to be used under a bed sheet quietly. Later in the gym, I imagined that I was his basketball and he grabbed me and he caressed me and he ran with me like I was a part of him, a part of his body. When he paraded around the locker room in his jock strap, you could see little faint traces is a pubic hair rising right above the elastic waistband, but I could never stare too long because it's almost like staring too long at this picture of Christ on the cross. People think you're strange. Clarence died in the ninth grade and he left behind Yolanda Skipper and the Centurions and he left me with the memory of one strong shove. It gets me by even now. <laughs>